Hello and welcome to my closet that is currently overstuffed, very full, and needs decluttering. walk you through what's going on in my mind right now. I'm a little bit nervous to do this. One, because I don't really want to do it. Two, because I feel like I'm not going to get rid of a lot of stuff because in my mind I'm like, you haven't been out of the house in like a year, you know? When I say out of the house, obviously I've left my house, but I haven't like gone to an event. I haven't gone on a vacation. I haven't really done a whole heck of a lot and I've been wearing a lot of sweatpants. And so a lot of these things I think I'm gonna be like, you know what? When the world opens up and everything's back to normal, I'm gonna wear that, even though it probably won't, you know? I bet we can all relate to that. So my plan is to do my best. <laughs> that's all I can ever ask for. And so that's what we're gonna do today, is our best. If you guys are newer to my channel, I kind of reconfigured my closet last spring. I used to have a big dresser here, but I removed that. And my life has been drastically better ever since because I can actually see all of my clothes, which is so nice. Um, I still don't wear like 90% of it, but I can see them all, which is great. So this is all of my hanging stuff. I have extra crew necks here, lots of sweatshirts and jeans and comfy pants down below that I need to go through. But I think it's smart to start with all of this. The bar is getting quite heavy and I'm simply running out of space and hangers. So I'm really hoping that I can get rid of a lot of stuff. My plan is to take everything and put it on the bed and go through every single item individually and put it in a pile either yes, maybe, or like a try on maybe, and then a donate slash sell. So let's see how this goes. Alright, well, that's a lot of stuff to go through. Not in any particular pile yet. And here's a look at my empty closet. I only left my little belt hanger thing and then you guys can now see the cube so I have like crewnecks and stuff, jeans, comfy pants and then I have this random basket here that I keep socks in now. I love a good fuzzy sock, you know? So I'm gonna pick up every single item and if it's a yes I'm gonna put it right back in the closet. If it's a sell it's going over there and I'm freeing up a hanger. So these two and this one are yeses. And then I think the best way to do it is once everything's in there that's when I'll then color and categorize all that kind of stuff. I said that if I was going to wear this this fall, winter, I would have already. So that's going to be on my Poshmark. This is one of my favorite sweaters from Paris. I love it. It's from And Other Stories. It's probably one of my favorite pieces of clothing I own. I love it. Same goes as this sweater. I think this is a sell as well. Favorite blazer. Another great blazer. Gotta love my corduroy. And of course I'm keeping my two shackets. I have a really hard time with this one. I love this jacket. Haven't worn it in a while, but it's kind of the only camo thing I own. What if it comes back in trend, you know? Do you guys ever do that? Okay, I'm gonna put it in a maybe pile. Two of these really nice and soft Sherpas. Love those. There's a yes. This sweater, she's really cute. I, it's not very practical because it makes your back really cold, but it looks really cool from the back. Okay, that's a maybe too. Very soft, but just not 100% my style. This one was fun, but I think I'm good to sell this one as well. It's run its course with me. This is actually one of Cody's sweaters. It's from Joe Fresh. It's very soft and cozy and just like simple. Maybe. Yes. Yes, love this chunky knit. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pass this t-shirt on as well, freeing up a hanger. I kept some of my like summery dresses in case I wanted to wear them with boots. Not leaving the house, don't know why I did this. Normally this stuff would be packed away, but I guess we're gonna keep it and I like all of them. So they're just gonna live in my closet until the spring, summer. Love them all. I love that this denim dress still has the little plastic tag on it. I've worn this several times. Just too lazy to take it off, apparently. Yes, to this dress. This is one of my favorite rompers from Urban Outfitters, and it's actually, <laughs> there's two of them on this one hanger. Very similar, yet very different. Great thing to wear on top of costumes or like dance show days. That's usually what I wear, and I like them, so I'm keeping them. Mm. 
So my battery died and I had a meeting, so we're back. I'm ready to go, second round. The cats are on all of my stuff. So I guess I'll go with this pile, okay. See, this is one of those random things that's really good for like going to the mountain and wearing under your ski stuff. I don't ski, but if I did, this is what I'd wear underneath. It's just like a nice good Lululemon top for working out. Maybe. So I have another similar top to that one, a black workout top. This one's a bit thinner. Maybe I should keep this one and get rid of the other one. Maybe that's a good move. This shirt from Princess Polly I wore so much and like all of the writing on the front has disappeared but all the writing on the back is here. So I'm not really sure about that one. I think I can get rid of this t-shirt. Oh I like this one. Simple, plain. I can get rid of this one. Keep, 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 keep. Hey. Thank you. Keep. This is a difficult thing. So I have my bodysuits. Some of them randomly are hanging, but most of them live in the drawer underneath my bed. And I love bodysuits so much, but I forget I own them because they're tucked away. But the thing is, I don't have enough hangers to keep them all on hangers. What a predicament. I'm also like really bad at owning white clothes. I shouldn't be allowed them because I get stuff on them and then I just forget that bleach exists and I should really just do like a bleach session for all of my white things. I think that it would be greatly beneficial, but I don't know if I'll do it. It has a stain on it. Okay, I need to wash that. There's a new pile that I just started. Fix this shit. Plain white shirt, yes. That one's good for working out. Love my Prada Spice Girl shirt. You guys have seen that on my Instagram. I love it. I have one very similar to this that I wear more, so I can get rid of that one. This is Cody's shirt, but <laughs> if you guys are in dance, you know that it's really important to have a classic white button down to throw over an outfit or throw over a dance costume if you're doing a lyrical piece, and this would be that for me. So I'm gonna keep it. I haven't reached for this one in over probably two years, so she gone. My only wild fox jumper. These were so classic back in the day. It's very soft, it's a good pajama shirt, but I definitely forgot I owned it, so. <laughs> These bodysuits from Princess Polly, I have it in this color and black. They also make a long sleeve version, which I want, are some of my absolute favorites, so. I'm keeping it. I have a really hard time with this one because I always want to wear it around Christmas, but I didn't do anything festive this year. You're actually supposed to wear this top with a zipper in front, but I would put it in the back. It's just one of those things I'm always like, that would be good around Christmas, and then Christmas comes and goes, and you're like, mm, I didn't wear it. But it looked really cute with like a skirt. I'm putting that in the maybe pile. Okay. Yes to this, yes to this. This is one of my favorite shirts at the moment. Oh, give me Here is the current sell slash donate pile. Look at all the hangers I freed up. That's pretty good. We still have the maybe pile. And then this is what the closet is looking like. Not too bad, obviously still pretty damn full, but I kind of did the organizing of the coloring and all that kind of stuff. I usually keep sweaters towards the back here and then I go into my blacks. I kind of did like fancy black at the front, t-shirts and then long sleeves. And then this section I have my loungewear set that I like to hang because she's fancy and then I have like lights going into colors. That's pretty much how I like to organize my closet. I don't know, just kind of makes the most sense. I don't love that the whole black section is in the middle, but that's, I don't know. When I have a bunch of sweaters, it's kind of the best option. <sighs> okay, now moving on to the cubes that I have down here. So the top two here are sweatshirts or crewnecks, whatever you want to call them. And I <laughs> frequent this section daily, so I don't really think that there's going to be a lot that I want to get rid of. I might separate them into plain crewnecks and like patterned or like have a logo. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, they're pretty organized. I don't really have much to say about this section other than I love it. 
I definitely could color coordinate this section, but I feel like that would be a waste of time because I'm always grabbing one and moving the pile and this and that, so we're just not gonna do that. My biggest organization struggle right now when it comes to my closet is the fact that I only have one small drawer for my pajamas and I have a lot of pajamas and like sweatpants and things like that that I'll wear to bed and so this is kind of like my comfy pants section but then I also have like a bunch of like sleep shirts and things like that and my one drawer just simply does not fit all of it and I don't want to like hang pajama pants and sweatpants obviously so I feel like this little cubby is just kind of comfy pants slash some pajama shirts. Not very organized, but um, I think I want to get rid of those pants. Now moving on to the dreadful jean category. So my system right now is rolled. I roll my jeans. I have no idea what I have because some things are just like tucked in the back. And so this isn't a great system. If you have a better suggestion, let me know. But I own a lot of jeans and so this is kind of the only thing that makes sense for this I could put them in my drawer but I just I don't really want to um yeah so if you have a better way let me know I did already part with a couple pairs I didn't love that didn't fit me and those are already listed on my Poshmark can you tell that jeans are my favorite thing to buy I have way too many so I was trying to put an extra hoodie onto this and it completely collapsed probably because it was too heavy and I busted my nail. It hurts so bad. It's like stinging, but rude. Obviously these aren't the best um, organization solution, but you know what? They may do. We put it back together and I'm ready to fold some jeans. I definitely could stack the jeans. I just don't think that I would get the same amount of space if I were to do that. I could try it. Also too, jeans are very much one of those items that it's like, obviously I haven't been wearing them as much as I'd like to, but one day I will have to go out in the world and I'll probably want to wear jeans. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. I also did laundry yesterday, so I think I have probably two more pairs of jeans in the laundry plus the pair I'm wearing. Obviously, I'm never going to have all of my jeans or at least... Typically, I don't have all of my jeans in my closet at once. The stacking is going okay. I think I'll be able to fit <laughs> what I have here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit anything else, though. I should really put the ones that I use the most on top, though. That would be logical. Definitely look nicer this way, stacked like this. Maybe I'll roll the extra ones so I can fit them on the side. Until I can have a full closet to myself, this is just what it's going to have to be. This is just not going to be practical when I come to grab something, unless it's on top. That is truly all that can fit in there. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. Now to deal with up here, I know for sure that I want to part with this super fuzzy tracksuit. Very cozy, but I just didn't wear it at all this winter. This right here is one of the samples of March that I decided not to come out with. <laughs> I've never come out with merch and uh, there's a good reason because I'm always indecisive but at the end of the video I'll show you guys this. It's a fun treat and a fun joke now. This is also one of them. This is a hoodie that just says boss babe. So I actually really like the hoodies and I wear them quite a bit but yeah I only have black and white and they were just samples. Like I said never went through with it. Alrighty next up is the hall closet. And I know that there's jackets in here that I need to get rid of. And I'm scared because this closet is always overflowing. I know right away I can get rid of this one because I have a replacement-ish for it. It can go. This one's super cute. Definitely listing this on my Poshmark. Very cute pink coat. And I have a green one. And I'm going to do the same because I told myself if I didn't wear them at all this season, I would get rid of them. They're very nice coats. I just simply have too many. So those will be on my Poshmark. I have two floral leather pleather jackets. I have this red one from Forever 21 and then this like cherry blossom one from Winners. And I haven't worn them. They're like my spring jacket. I really like this red one. God, I have such a hard time getting rid of things. I feel like I can part with this one. Okay, so that declutter didn't go like super smoothly, but I did get rid of four, and that's a lot for me. So I'm gonna be happy with that, and just, you know, we'll try better next time. While I still have some sunlight, I'm going to shoot the jackets, just do some mirror picks for Poshmark, because I feel like with jackets, it's much better to see them on someone 
For some of the other clothes, I don't think I'll need to do this, but for the jackets, I thought that it could be beneficial, so gonna do that. These jackets honestly feel like cardigans, they're so comfy. parting with and take pictures of them okay I think it's time to put my hair up It's now the next day and I did all of the decluttering that I wanted to do and then today, this morning, I spent listing some Poshmark items. So most of the stuff that I shot yesterday, I was able to get up and listed. This video is going up on Sunday, but I listed them on Friday. So they've already been up. If you guys want to check out my Poshmark, I'll have a link down below. You can go check it out. I do send a card handwritten by me as well as a free beauty item in every order. So if you purchase something from me, you'll get a little personalized note card as well as a free item, which is always really cool. So yeah, I've just been sitting here with my coffee listing the items. I did find a couple more things that I forgot to list, so I'll have to take pictures of those later today and put them up. Overall though, I'm really happy with how things went. I feel like I got rid of stuff that I had been meaning to, that I knew I wasn't going to reach for in my closet. And of course I can constantly do this and it would be very smart of me to do this like quarterly or even I usually do it seasonally, but you know, every couple months or so, just go through and see if there's anything that doesn't spark joy anymore and get rid of it. If you guys enjoy declutter and organization content like this, definitely check out my other videos. I have a ton more like this. And also if you like this video, give it a thumbs up because it really helps and supports my channel. You guys honestly do not know how much a like or a comment goes on YouTube these days with the analytics. So please, please do that. I would really, really appreciate it. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you and turning on post notifications is super important now. Pretty much the only way you're gonna see my content when it gets uploaded is if you have notifications on. So please do that if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day, bye.